Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. And when you think of excellent pilot watches, you think of... Well, maybe you think of IWC. Maybe you think of Stova. But here today, I'm going to show you Laco. And Laco is one of the brands, uh, like the others I mentioned, along with um, Wempy and uh, one other that escapes me at the very moment, that used to make um, pilot's watches originally uh, for the German uh, Luftwaffe in World War II. Um, I guess, I don't know, I'll get into my wrist check really quick. It's a double quartz grab-and-go day. Uh, my Breitling, um, aerospace. I guess it's kind of like a pilot -y watch. It is called the Aerospace. And, oh, my Flightmaster. I guess this is a pilot's watch, right? So um, I've got, I think, four. Four new Lacos to show you, um, 39s and 42s uh, from the lower end of the spectrum at four and change to $1,200. Uh, just a bunch of new releases I brought in the store. I thought you'd be interested in seeing them, so let's check them out. Okay, so like I mentioned, I have um, four watches to show you, but effectively I'm gonna show you, I guess, I don't know, more than that, like eight or so, because you gotta imagine a lot of them are A dial and B dial variants. I don't wanna bore you and show you too many. Um, but the first one I do wanna start with, for a reason, is the priciest, which is one of their Swiss, um, Swiss movement driven pieces. So this is the um, 42 millimeter, um, Model, I, model numbers are crazy, 86, 1893. It's a B dial, it also comes in an A dial. Um, full loom, uh, it's the uh, Wien, Laco Wien, W-I-E-N. Uh, all of Laco's watches are generally named after cities or or something similar like that. Uh, so this watch is, like I guess it has a Swiss movement on the inside. It beats on, oh, let's do the size, I'm sorry. So 42, like I said, it's just shy of 13 thick to a slightly domed AR, see the AR, uh, sapphire crystal. Uh, it is 50 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. It is a 20 millimeter strap, beautiful strap. Um, but so the watch runs on a, a Laco 24, which is basically an elaborate grade 2824. Uh, Laco does name all their movements to deal with kind of the inconsistencies in which movements are available at what time. So they call it a Laco 24. But in this instance, it is an elaborate. 2024, not a base, not a top, not a chronometer library, which is kind of cool that they uh, put something better than uh, base in the watch. Uh, the watch retails for $1,190. It is a beautiful stainless steel sandblasted case. Whoops, I did mention it is a sapphire crystal. Beautiful crown. Obviously, a hand winds, hacks. Got it? Change the time. There is no date, just as is conventional on most pilots' watches. 50 meters of water resistance. Um, just simply beautiful. Uh, they, these watches also come in standard black dials, you know, like the um, the Paderborn, the Dortmund. Um, the, they come in 42s, they come in 45s. You still Laco writing on there. Um, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of the quality. The quali See how I keep getting stuck to the crown? It's amazing. Uh, the, uh, the quality is excellent on these. The case back on all the Swiss ones is really, all this writing is just historically accurate as is the manufacturer, the FL nomenclature, which is basically nomenclature for a flight watch. Um, and then all the other stuff you can see, it's a, it's a flight watch. Um, all the stuff in German, uh, what is that? Uh, Beo Bach, know, someone can translate it for me, <laughs> if you would like. Uh, so 1190, and the reason why I wanna show you this guy first is because the rest of them now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you are all 460 bucks. I will do a loom shot at the end. Um, the rest of them are 460 compared to this 1190. I want to just kind of show you the quality you get um, when uh, comparing the two prices. So just kind of remember what you see and look at the lugs and stuff. Because uh, I always like to tell people from about five to 10 feet away, the 460 watches look basically the same as the 1190. I mean, if you want authenticity, obviously it's this, you know, it's no, no branding on the dial. Um, but uh, for uh, a bargain, you really can't beat the other Laco watches. So I have two watches now. Um, both are PVD, uh, black cases. You have a 39 in my right hand, a 42 on my left. This guy also comes in an A dial. This guy also comes in a B dial. Um, sorry, I have done videos on it in the past. I assume everybody knows this stuff. This is an A dial, your standard pilot's dial. This is your B dial, your navigator or observer dial, bomber dial sometimes called, uh, where minutes is prominent and hours is secondary on a pilot's dial. It's just the telling the time is of primary importance. Um, so. Just just so you know that what you see here, again, all, both of these are 460. Um, you can get this guy in a B dial and this guy in an A dial. 
So effectively, I'm showing you four pieces. I'm going to show you the 39er first. Uh, so these run now on a Miyota 821A movement, which some of you may have picked up on in recent news, if you've seen. The 821A now hacks. Um, so I can tell you all the PVD ones that I sell will definitely hack. Some of the older models, the Ock and the Augsburg that I still have, I cannot guarantee they hack because the movement switch was done by Miyota in line and uh, Laco does not really differentiate which ones. I can't tell from looking at the box, you know, what's in it. Um, but there you can see it is a Miyota A21A. You can tell by the second hand flying around like that, that indirect driven seconds that I've talked about in the past. Uh, let's see. So PVD case, uh, Miyota movement. Uh, it's, uh, 39 millimeters in diameter, 12 thick to a flat sapphire crystal, okay? 46 and a half lug tip to lug tip. We're looking at an 18 millimeter lug, beautiful black strap with rivets. Really is an excellent strap, look at that. Very nice, very soft, great buckle. Uh, again with the 15 meters of water resistance and um, still a pop back but in exhibition so you can see the Miyota A21A. Uh, Sapphires, so Sapphire Crystal was an upgrade that they made um, to the affordable lineup many years ago. There are certainly no more mineral crystal ones uh, lying around. Uh, so 460, and then if you wanted to go a little bit bigger, so here they are side by side, three millimeters in every uh, in, in the diameter and uh, overall, not in the thickness. So it's still 12 millimeters thick, but it is now 46 and a half lug tip to lug tip, 42 on the diameter. Everything else about the watch is the same. The price, uh, the the look, uh, 20 millimeter lug, I'm sorry, so that's another difference. Um, but hand winds, hacks, okay, you can see that. Really beautiful looking watches. And they now, they all do say made in Germany on the bottom. You can see that there. Laco on the dial. And I wanted to show you the more expensive one first. Um, you know, maybe we'll do it when we get to the last one, just so I can, we'll do a quick compare and contrast, just so you can see, you know, what the differences are. Uh, the last one I want to show you is, so this is kind of like your Augsburg. Yeah, it's kind of like your Augsburg, uh, except they've thrown it on a bracelet. Um, people do ask for Fliegers on a bracelet. Uh, I'm not particularly a fan of Flieger on a bracelet, but people do ask for it, so they have done it. Uh, again, so now this is an A dial. This watch also comes in a B dial. So we are again looking at 42 in diameter, 12 thick to a flat sapphire, 46 and a half uh, excuse me, I don't know if I said 46 and a half before. I apologize if I did. 50 lug tip to lug tip on the 42. 42 millimeter, 50 on the lug tip to lug tip. 46 and a half is for the 39 millimeter diameter watches. Sorry about that. So 42, 12, 50. Uh, we do have a 20 millimeter bracelet. And it actually is a good bracelet. It's not a cheap, junky bracelet. Solid end links. You can see that. Very nice, thick, solid links. Beautiful clasp, sign clasp, but look at that. Look at double push button. Nice milled clasp, really is. Gorgeous. Okay. And do I detect a diver's extension? I think I do. If you're diving and you're a pilot, again, as I said in other, issue, uh, other videos, you have a serious problem with your aircraft, but nice to know that it is there. It is an excellent, I'm gonna get that caught. I won't do it. That is an excellent, excellent uh, bracelet. So you can see the beautiful dial, A dial. Loom is everywhere, uh, hands and, and numbers and markers. Uh, I will turn the lights out in a second and show you. I did just want to show you, again, just so the difference between your $1,200 watch and your um, 460. So obviously case finishing is a big difference. The bead blasted cases take on a more of a uh, titanium sort of look. Go look at the lugs. Lugs are very different. Dial-wise, forgetting that it's an A dial and a B dial, um, sterile versus not sterile means it says Laco on the dial. It doesn't say Laco here. Certainly a nicer, slightly domed sapphire crystal versus your flat. Um, but like I tell people, you know, from five feet away, man, they really are very similar watches. So if you don't want to spend the dough, uh, I think it's a fine alternative. Let's flip out the lights, do the loom, and then I'll do, um, I guess, two or three uh, wrist, uh, wrist shots. Okay, this is ridiculous. The first one is a full loomed pilot's watch. Uh, I love that the hands are in black. Okay, let's just put this one down. This is ridiculous. Okay, so here is your 39 millimeter Flieger. Let's bump it up a bit. There we go. This guy is ridiculous. <laughs> Here's your 39 millimeter Flieger. Beautiful. 
easy to read, and your here's that one on the bracelet. It's pretty much the same loom, right? Okay, and then your B dial, um, 42 millimeter. Looks awesome, easy to read, simple, beautiful. I cannot say enough that watches without bezels, and you've heard me say it a bunch of times, appear so much larger. This is a 42 on my wrist. I normally wear a 43 millimeter Islander uh, Seiko Diver, or whatever it is, uh, without a problem. 42 it just appears to be much larger, much more of a pipe plate kind of thing, or a pipe pan. See that? It still looks great, um, 50 tip to tip. Uh, but let's see how 39 looks. So here's 39 millimeters on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Now on the last, on the 42, I was the second to last hole. So here you can see now I'm kind of in the middle. So we can go about an inch bigger or an inch smaller. On here, 39 is probably more my size. Knowing me, I wear large watches, so maybe I would do the 42. Um, but the 39 for a six and three quarter, I think is absolutely absolutely perfect it should tell you something i can fit the bracelet over my onto my wrist without actually opening it <laughs> it just slides it over my hand maybe i have small hands or the bracelet is big but that's what she looks like above below i have a party in there plenty of room last one would be the Laco flashlight it fits fine lugs because the lugs don't come down at all so maybe it feels a little bit larger um, than it should see that and something I did want to mention, the straps on the more expensive models is certainly a higher grade strap. The straps on the cheaper guys are excellent. The straps on the more expensive ones are simply amazing. Uh, excellent quality. So I think that'll wrap it up. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you some new uh, local pilots watches. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.